All right. So to assess Binance dual investment option, if you don't have the interface or this app that I'm looking at, okay, if you don't have this kind of interface, you want to click here, this profile icon at the top left hand side, okay? You want to click on it. Once you click on it, okay, once you click on it, make sure you toggle this off because by default, your own will be on. So make sure you toggle this off, okay? And then it will switch you from the Binance Lite to Binance Pro. And once you're on Binance Pro, you should have an interface like this. So to be able to access the Binance Dual Investment on the app, all you just need to do is to click on this end tab here. Okay, so I come in here and click on N. The end tab is where you will assess Binance Dual Investment. And I made a video previously um, about the Binance, 10 different ways you can make money on Binance and all of those 10 ways are on this Binance end. So if I go ahead and click on Binance end, okay? Once I click on Binance end, you'll see all of the different methods you can use to earn in Binance, savings, taking, auto invest, liquidity farming and the rest. But our concern in today's meeting is Binance dual investment, which is this one, all right? That is our concern on Binance dual investment. If you want to see more of this, okay, more options, you just click on the arrow here and it will pull down this way. So you see all of the different options that you can invest in, you can subscribe to on the Binance platform. But our concern major here, majorly our concern here is on the dual investment option. So what I would do is to click on the dual investment option so if I click on the dual investment option, it brings us to, to this interface, okay? And you can invest in multiple coin like Bitcoin, you can invest in Ethereum, you can invest in BNB, Solana, Matic, Ada, Dot, and it goes on like that, okay? Binance dual investment enables you to make money in both ways, whether the market is going up or it is going down. And the reason for that is because when you want to buy low, Okay, and at the end of the day, whether your order is filled or not, you earn an interest, okay, for partaking in the Binance Dual Investment. You earn a very high um, interest on your investment, okay? The API is always very high, as you can see here, okay? This is on B BTC, you see that it is from 4% to 124 to 123 API, and it goes on that way. If I select other options there, the same thing will apply, okay? So how do you involve yourself in Binance Dual Investment? Before I even go into showing you how to subscribe for the Binance Dual Investment, okay? Let me just um, briefly explain that Binance Dual Investment allows you to, you know, the chance to buy low and then sell high a particular cryptocurrency as at your own desire, okay? And you are selling this at a specified date in the future, okay? There is a specified date in the future, and once that date reaches, whether it goes in the, according to your prediction or not, your order will be filled. You can either buy or your money is returned back to you with interest. If you buy, you will still buy the same coin with interest returned back to you. That is what all the what dual investment is all about. Okay, so you are buying low or selling high. If you are buying low, it means that you need to have USDT or BUSD. If you are selling high, it means that you need to have any of this coin. Is that you want to sell BTC, you want to sell Ethereum, BNB, um, Solana, Matic, ADA, and the rest, okay? So selling high means that you need to have invest in any of these tokens that is supported on the Binance Dual Investment Platform. Then buying low means that you need to have either BUSD or USDT, okay? So um, briefly on the buying low and selling high um, explanation, okay? So when you want to sell high, okay, selling high gives you the chance to sell your crypto. As I've said, you sell your crypto, which is either BTC, Ethereum, BNB, um, ADA, and so on, okay? On the settlement date, all right? And that settlement date is predicted. You have different options as I will show you in a moment, okay? You select the date that you desire. When that date come, all right, when that date come, your price can either be filled by buying, okay, by buying that token for you. But if the price doesn't get to that expected um, price that you've predicted, your price, your money will be returned, okay? Let me just um, break this down for you to understand. 
when you want to sell high, okay, when you want to sell high, you need to have either BTC, BNB, Ethereum, Solana, Matic, and the rest, okay? That is what you need to need and have first, okay? So you deposit your crypto asset, which is non-stable coin, like BNB, BTC, and the rest. That is selling high, okay? When you deposit it, you select a target price. I'll be showing you all of that in a moment, okay? At which you aim to sell that particular crypto because you have different options, so you select. And then on the settlement date, if the market price is above your target price, the order is filled, and then your subscription amount and interest income will be sold at that target price. So if you want to sell in BUSD or in USDT, it will be sold at that target price and you will receive your return in BUSD, okay? If on the delivery date, the market price is below the target price, the order is not filled. All right, let's say you want to buy BNB &B at $300. Um, and then on the delivery date, the market is not up to $300. Your order will not be filled, okay? However, you will still earn interest income, whether it is filled or not, you will still earn interest income and you will receive the same amount, okay, that you deposited. So if you deposit 10 BNB on that delivery date, if the price is below what you wanted to sell it, your 10 BNB will be returned to you with the interest. The same way you sell high is the same way you can buy low. All right. So the same procedure you follow if you want to buy low. So buying low means that you need to have BUSD or USDT. So you are investing in BUSD or USDT. So what buying low simply means is that you deposit your stable coin, in this case, BUSD or USDT, and then you select a target price at which you aim to you know, buy other crypto. And which are, what are those other crypto you want to buy, either BTC, Ethereum, BNB, Solana, you can just click on any of these and go ahead and subscribe to it, okay? So if you want to buy any of these, you select that, and then you select the target price and the delivery date, okay? So on the settlement date, if the market price is below the target price, then the order is filled, all right? So let's say you want to buy BNB at 296. If on the delivery date, the market is below even 296, you, your order will still be filled, okay? Your order is filled, and then you get back your subscription amount, okay? In that particular token that you wanted to buy, if it is BNB, if it is BTC and the rest, and you will receive that with interest. You will receive it with interest. I will show you that in a moment, okay? I will demonstrate that in a moment for you, okay? So regardless of whether you, you try to sell high or you try to buy low, once whether your order is filled or not, once that date of delivery reaches, okay, you will receive interest in both ways, whether the order is filled or not, all right? So basically, that is what I want you to understand about the Binance Joint Investment, and it is one of the favorite ways that I've, you know, decided to be using to invest um, some of my, my coins with, uh, with okay instead of just going on trading 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 and the rest this can actually pay you now um to be able to demonstrate this once we click on air we click on dual investment it brings us to this interface and i prefer using bnb okay i prefer using bnb so uh, the first thing i need to do is to go ahead and click on bnb now when i click on bnb so you have the option here. Once it is USDT, you see, sorry, BNB. So once it is USDT or BUSD, you see attached to it that it is buy low, buy low. Okay, because we selected BNB, it means that if I'm investing in BNB, I am going to sell high. Okay, so all of those that I explained to you is what I want to demonstrate now. So if I want to invest in BNB, I'll go ahead and click on subscribe. It means that I already have some BNB on my account. So if I'm using BNB, it means that I already have some BNB on my account. And when I click on subscribe, these are the different dates that you have here, okay? These are all the different dates. So here on this date, we have the APY, the percentage you are expected to earn, 
okay? And then the target price, the price at which you would choose to sell. You can sell at 290, 300, 310, 320, 230. You can choose whatever you want to sell, okay? And then we have the cutoff time. The cutoff time becomes the delivery date. So this is delivering on the 20th of May, 20th of May, 20th of May, 20th of May, okay? And if I scroll down, you get different dates here, okay? The cutoff date, you get different cutoff dates here. So you choose the one you want to go with, okay? For the purpose of this demonstration, I will just go with the first one, which have the higher um, APY, okay? This one has between 162 to 70, to 70, to 67, all right? So it means that I've decided that if I have some BNB, I want to sell that BNB at 290 on the 20th of May, okay? On the 20th of May. So what this simply means is that if the price of BNB gets to this, I'll be selling any number of BNB that I have, all right? Then if I decide to go with the second one, okay, let me even go with the second one that is $300, okay? Let me go with that one. So I'll select the second one. All I just need to do is just to click on this arrow to subscribe to it, this yellow arrow here, subscribe to it. So I'll go ahead and click on the 300 one. And then when I click on it, it will not ask me to invest my BNB. I don't have any BNB here, but for the purpose of this demonstration, let's say I put in 10 BNB here. Okay, I just want to show you what you should be expecting. So if I put in 10 BNB, so if I put in 10 BNB and I scroll down here, now this is one thing where I want you to understand or pay attention to, okay? So we decided to sell our BNB at 300, which is what is noted here, okay? So what is said here is that when the final settlement price is, okay? When it is greater, when it is greater or equal to 300, you will receive 300, that is 3,065 um, BUSD, okay? So when you are selling a non-stable token, when it is sold, you are settled in BUSD, all right? Then when the final price, okay? When the final price is less than $300 on the 20th of May, okay? On the 20th of May, which is our settlement date, you will receive 10 BNB. Remember we've added 10, BNB, right? So the 0.215 becomes your interest. That is the interest you are earning for investing 10 BNB here in seven days. From today, if you are doing this from today, from today to your, the 20th will be seven days, all right? So if you invest this, it means that if the price on the 20th of, um, on the 20th of uh, May, if the price is less than 300, you are going to receive 10.2 uh, 18 BNB. So the 218 BNB here is the interest that you have made for just in investing in this dual investment. And then if the price is filled, okay, which is it to be filled at 300, or if the price of BNB on the 20th is above 300, even if it gets to 1000 that day, your price will be filled in as much as it is above 300. So if the price has to be equal to 300 or above 300 for it to be sold. So if it is sold, it means that you are making um, this amount, okay? So the 3,000 will be selling three, uh, selling BNB at 300, selling BNB at 300, okay? 10 BNB at 300, then the 65 BUSD, that becomes the interest you have made for yourself that day, all right? So basically that is how this work, okay? This is with the non-stable coin, okay? If you want to do this with stable coin, it means that you need to have BNB, you need to have BUSD or USDT. And if you click on the asset, once you click on the asset, the next thing is to click the uh, stable coin that you have, either B, uh, uh, BUSD or USDT, any of these that you have, you click on it, okay? So if I go ahead and select, uh, let's do with USDT, okay? So I'll select subscribe for USDT. Once I, I click on that, this is the um, different, um, prices and this that we are giving, okay? So here, this is the APY we'll be getting from 200, okay? This is 206.36, 142, 149, and it goes on. Then the target price is 310, 300, 290, 280, 270, 
okay? And then the cutoff time is, or the delivery date is the same 20th of May, okay? So if I scroll down here, you see different delivery dates. Some are 27th, okay? Some are 3rd of June, uh, 24th of June and the rest. So you can go ahead. The more I scroll down, the more you see different options, all right? I normally go with this first one that have, um, that is always between three to seven days, and then it has a higher return as in the APY, okay? You get a higher APY, all right? So let's say on the 20th of May, I want to buy BNB at $310, um, okay? So I'll go ahead and click on that yellow icon there to subscribe to that, okay? So if I have, for instance, if I have like, let's say $5,000, 5,000 USDT, and I go ahead and, and do that. What this simply means is that on the delivery date, okay, on the delivery date, when the final settlement price is greater than 310, okay, you will receive, you know, 5,211 USDT, okay? But when the final price, okay, when the settlement date comes and the price is equal to 310 or less than 310, you will receive 16.381 um, BNB, okay, 16.381 BNB. Remember, we invested $500, okay? So if the price that day, if the price that day is greater than 310, all right, if the price is greater than 310, we are going to receive 5,208, okay? So it means that you have made $200 within these seven days of just putting in your money here. But if the price is equal to 310 or less than 310, okay, you are going to get about 16.7, almost 17, um, 16.8 uh, BNB, all right? So the remaining ones become the interest you are making. Okay, the interest they are making on the platform becomes that one. So that is basically how um, the dual investment store work. All right, whether your order is filled or not, you stand a chance of making some profit for yourself with this high return. As you can see here, the APY that I'm going to receive once this is filled is this 217%. All right, that is why I always love going with this first option here. The first three options, I always like going with it. In most cases, the order is not filled. I receive my interest. I know that I've made that profit, okay? In most cases, the order is filled and I know that I got BNB, then I cannot come again to, you know, first I take note of when I bought, what I bought the BNB before I can subscribe, if I'm doing to sell or to sell high, okay? So you take note of that. Now, the risk that comes with this, some of the risks that comes with this that you need to take note of is that if I go ahead and say, okay, I want to buy BNB at $310, okay? And then on the delivery date, BNB goes down to, let's say um, $200 or $100. My order will still be filled at this price that I negotiated with, all right? So this is the difference between uh, the, the, this is one of the risks that is that comes with this, okay? So the price could be lower than what you expect to buy that day but your, your, uh, you will still receive, because it is an agreement between you and Binance, you will still receive this specified amount that has been stipulated here at this price, because everything is calculated at that price that you want to buy. So it means that if that day, the price goes down and you decided to buy at 200, even if the price goes down to $100, you will still be buying at that 310, okay? And then if you want to sell high, and on the delivery date, the price is maybe you have split, uh, you have um, agreed or selected a particular option here to sell at 300. And then that day BNB becomes 400 or 500. Yours will still be sold at that 300. So basically the price of either the risk or the, what the risk, the risk involved here is that you could have sold high, assuming you just went to spot market to buy. But what's the probability that the price will get to that? But I'm just telling you in case this happens, you just know that um, that is these are some of the risks that I feel personally that are not risks that are involved with um, you know the dual investment option. Okay, so um, take note of that. All right. So some those are some of the risks that are involved with the dual investment option and the rest. Okay. 
So some things you need to note is the delivery date. Okay, you have the delivery date, you have the target price, and then you have the APY. Okay, the APY stands for annual percentage yield. All right, so if it is 206, and then you participated for this in seven days, at the end of the day, 206 divided by 365 days, it will now be calculated by seven days or the number of days you participated, and that will give you the return of the interest you earn. All right. So then the cutoff date is um, the day your, your investment will end, which is the delivery date. So dual investment is one of the easy, easiest way you can get involved in, you know, buy crypto, you know, just invest and be earning this percentage, okay? Whether your order is filled or not, you'll be earning this percentage with the Binance option, all right? So I've actually uh, tried my best to do, make sure that I explain this to your understanding, all right? If there is anything I did not mention here, um, you can, quietly unmute yourself and ask your question. Maybe from your question, I can throw more light on that. If not, we just proceed with others, other things, okay?